going to tell you how to configure your server with the application packet tracer. First, I will name the server one with yahoo.com and the second one is gmail.com. I'm gonna tell you how to configure your server with DNS, DHCP, and email server uh, with router and switch. Now I'm going to connect the router and switch with straight through cable and the lightning, yes, first pass that on it, and then if the color if the color is red it's not wrong because um you're not configured yet in the router so if you want more simple you can choose the automatic cable the first one like this and switch and pc switch and software later okay now they begin to configure yourself with the color green and orange. Now um, we are going to configure the server and the router first. First we click configure step and then press Ethernet 0. Don't forget to turn on and then configure the IP address for fast Ethernet 0. I choose 192, 158, 1.2. Okay. Now you see the port is on and the cable is on with green color. And then you see the fast Ethernet 1. Uh, don't forget to turn on. And the IP address is 192, 168. I choose net ID 2, 1. Okay, you see the cable is configured itself. And then, uh, don't forget to submit mask. Okay. Now we're going to configure the server. First, yahoo.com. Server. Configure that. And fast Ethernet. Don't forget to configure the IP address on the server. I choose one nine two one six eight one two. Okay. And the global configuration, the gateway. Uh, we fill it with the configuration in IP address in router. And the DNS server is uh, the IP address in the NS server that you use that in the HCP we choose the same in the global configuration and the NS server yes the same too okay and then the start IP address is uh, the starting IP address that you want to Give to the client. I choose five. Okay, don't forget to save it. And then we're going to DNS. I'm going to uh, yahoo.com first. Okay, the five is a record. The address is the address here. IP address 192.168.1.2. Okay, F. And then a uh, Gmail DNS. I I configure the DNS in Gmail easier because uh, it will more it will make more simple. But the address is the address in the Gmail server because it's going to the Gmail server in this one. Yeah. Okay and. To the email, this is the yahoo.com server, so I choose yahoo.com. Don't forget to tap the username and the password. Yeah. Okay, 
them and then to the second uh, one is the forget to configure the IP address 192.168.2.2 okay it's a bit lost to forget it and the global configuration to forget it too with the IP address in Delia, the DNS server, we use the first uh, server in yahoo.com, so we use the address in that one. Okay, and then we're going to the HTTP server, the full gateway, we deal with the same address. 2.1 this is the same with the first one 192 168 and 12 okay oh yeah that IP address from 5 and save the email don't forget to fill the gmail.com and reset and then uh, you add the user, whatever you want. Click, click, and we're going to configure the IP address. We're going to see that what? Okay, successful. The DHCP server is working. And then we're going to configure the email in this PC. I choose Yahoo email. You use your name, your email, .com. and this is the domain. Okay, this is the name and the password. Save. And then the procedure. Uh, we're going to the desktop, the IP configuration in the HCP. Close to and the procedure request successful. Okay. So the server is work and then to configure the mail, you see uh, your name, your email address that you add before in the server. This is the domain gmail.com and then your username password save. Okay, we're going to test if the email server work or not from books to the gmail okay yes. Yes. okay send waiting and suggest successful okay we're going to see if the email received or not Okay, this is the email that we sent before. We click replay. Okay, send. Yes, they see. You see? Yeah, it works. Okay, the point is you have to remember uh, the, which server that you choose and the router configuration and then the PC configuration don't forget to set the IP address in PC and in the server and in the router and make sure the cable is working thank you and good luck bye